at South Coast Hospital in the OR department, and today I'll be de demonstrating the Baxter IV pump. To turn the system on, there's an on-off switch here next to the green light. Go ahead and press that, and it'll go through some setup and some beeps. In the meantime, while that's priming, I'm going to hook up my primary set. My primary set today is 0.9% sodium chloride. And the tubing, can I see it? Sure. There's a continual flow tubing set. Okay. And with some pumps, specifically the Lara and other pump systems, they have a cassette. With this Baxter system, there is no cassette to prime. Um, there's just this little plug here that fits in here. So I'll show that in a minute. Again, this is your spike. Go ahead and pull off the blue protector and then the spike itself. Use a circular twist motion to put into the IV bag. You'll see it priming. Fill the drip chamber. And again, it's personal preference. I like the tubing since it is a little longer. I don't shut it off, but sometimes it, it is appropriate if you're at the patient's bed with a uh, shorter tubing to prime with it closed. And now after priming, we're ready to insert the adapter into the pump and get the pump ready for the patient. Again, the blue adapter has two, two sides, the top and the bottom sides, and then the right and left. For the top part, the smaller side and the ridges are in the back. And then when you insert it, the right side has this special notch here that ensures that it's inserted correctly. To insert the, the little adapter, first hit the open for the, on the pump. The blue adapter fits in right here. And as you do, stretch the tubing and push it in and you, you'll hear the pump go through its little motion. It's loading. Mm -hmm. And when it comes up with the stop symbol, that means that it is loaded and ready to take information. So now we'll program the pump according to the doctor's orders. Uh, we'll be insert, we'll be infusing at 100 mils an hour of the 0.9% sodium chloride. To do that, we'll use our function keys here at the bottom. And at the bottom, it's listed options, primary, piggyback. We're going to do this as a primary set. And it's now asking what our rate is and the volume to be infused. So we're going to put in 100 mils an hour. Hit the down arrow to get to the next part for volume to be infused. And we're going to use, uh, this is a 500 mil bag. So we'll use either 400 or 450. I like 400. That gives me a little more time to get back to the room and, and change the bag. So I'll type in 400. And then go ahead and down. And that, now you're ready. We can either use the label line, uh, use the colleague guardian system. I use that for the secondary system where you can actually label the line, uh, whether it's dopamine or if you're using uh, antibiotics, or with a piggyback. So it's now you just hit the start button. And you can see that the little drop goes smaller to larger. That means that the pump is now infusing. And it says there's a downstream inclusion, which is a good little technique approach that I forgot to open the little latch. And then just go ahead and hit start again. It says it's normal. Flowing. And then I also like to check just to make sure that the drip chamber is filled uh, to the appropriate level and that it is uh, flowing. Again, if there is line, uh, air in the lines, uh, some hospitals use the lower lock system to uh, uh, go into the different ports. This hospital, with the tubing they've selected, they use blunt tips. And with the blunt tips, you use special, you don't use puncturing needles. This is a blunt tip needle. So if there is air in the line or something happens that you need to use IV piggyback push, always clean your port. and then just insert the needle that way and take out air as needed. And that's how you would uh, take out air. Now to get ready for our secondary set, I'm gonna use uh, ANSEF one gram 
per doctor's orders in 100 mils. So either the doctor can order 1% ANSEF uh, mixture or 1 gram in 100 mils. To do that, the ANSEF is lyophilized and we need to reconstitute it with our 0.9% sodium chloride solution. I've already taken a patient label and also uh, labeled the bag uh, to necessary information, 1 gram ANSEF, the reconstitution date, what I reconstituted, and my initials. To do that, this is a special bag system. This part pops off, and again, it's like spiking in a regular primary set tubing. Uh, the puncture here is simple, a little twist motion, and then you just break the twist motion. There we go. And then you just break the top part here, and that allows the fluid to flow back and forth. Just go ahead and squeeze in some fluid to reconstitute. Mix it up. Check to make sure it's all reconstituted, and then just turn it back over and press the bag to get the liquid to come through. And you're sucking it to suck that fluid back into the bag, correct? Right, that was the second Great. part mm -hmm. when you go that mm -hmm. way. Yeah. And some people like leaving the ancephalin, cephalosporin on there when they hang the bag to verify that that's what was in there. Either way, since it's already labeled that way, I leave the I, I leave the vial on there for mm -hmm. appropriate measure. This is secondary set. Can I see it? This entails a little shorter line because we'll go into one of the ports, and also it has the, this little blue holder, mm -hmm. which allows the gravity. So when you hang, this bag will be higher than this bag. Mm -hmm. So when it pulls the when the pump pulls the fluid, it'll pull more mainly from the secondary or from the, the piggyback that we're hanging. And I noticed that you're hanging it so that when you walk in the room, you can see the label walking. See the label. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's easier that way. So when you come in the room from the door, you can see what's running, how long it's been running, if necessary, uh, to get a. Another bag quickly. And again, here's my little trick with this, is since it is a little shorter line, I do close it this way so I don't waste mm -hmm. it. And since it is an antibiotic, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. Walk plastic. Twisting motion, build a drip chamber, and then go ahead and prime into a bucket. And there we go. So now we'll use the secondary set to hang the primary bag. So now we'll stop this for a second. To do that, we'll hit stop. Okay, we stop. So now we'll insert our secondary set. Where's the stop button? It, it's right here. Okay. And again, you want to make sure that the port is above uh, the pump itself so you're not free flowing into the patient. So this port is above where the pump comes in. Can you show me that just by showing it? Mm -hmm. So this is the port here, and the pump tubing is inserted here, so the pump's here. This is before the pump. Correct. Mm -hmm. And with this system, the secondary sets, if they do have the blunt needle nose, uh, you have an extra piece of equipment to use, and that hooks into your secondary set. I'll show Can that show to you to in me? a second. Mm -hmm. So it's a lower lock system, and what this is, is, again, we don't want to use puncturing needles. This comes in their secondary set. So to pull this off, it's just an extra little set that looks like the blunt tip of the nose uh, for the needle that we're using. So it's mm -hmm. similar that way. It, it just has these extra hooks that it goes straight in, and then it's going to stay in. Clamps on there. Right. Mm -hmm. Can I see that? Mm-hmm. And make sure it's clamped on tight. Yeah, there's a click mm -hmm. in it. It's very... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So since the pump's stopped, I can open up my 
to me. And we're going to now go back to our function bu buttons and we're going to select piggyback. Mm -hmm. And we're going to either, and for the rate, uh, again, we'll use 100 mils per hour per doctor orders. Down arrow. Volume to be infused. Uh, with this, we're going to enter uh, 100 mils because we want to, or 100 mils because we want to make sure that all of that solution goes into the patient. And a callback. Uh, this feature is if there's up to a paging system or if it's pump, do you want it to page you that way? I say no, uh, just because it will go back to the primary set and it, it just it takes just over. Easier. Mm -hmm. And again, we can label the line and go back to the primary. Uh, you can label the line. There's different functions here. You just scroll down. I'm just going to scroll down to antibiotic and say select and label antibiotic. If you're running a dopamine drip or an epi drip, you can label it that way. And with this hospital, they have, with the colleague that's watching, uh, the, the function colleague, it, it will allow you to have either micrograms per mil or different functions that way. So we're ready, and we'll go back to primary. And it says that it's already used 393 to be infused at 100 mils an hour, and the guardian's on, and we just say start. What guardian? Show that to me again. The guardian again was when you went to the piggybacks and you went to the change mode. You could pick and say whether it was an antibiotic. Oh, or if it was mm -hmm. that, that's where it was. If you're using a dopamine drip, Got it, it. it'll say micrograms per milliliter mm -hmm. that way. Okay. So it's pulling from the secondary set. I'm seeing that the drops are coming from there. Uh, I'm also noticing when I go back to the main function that it's flowing and the secondary piggyback sets running. So now I can see it flowing. Mm -hmm. And you can look up at the piggyback when you find it. There we go. And it is infusing. There we go. All right, and once the piggyback is done, it automatically goes back to my primary line? Right, since we haven't closed off and the gravity, this bag's hanging lower than mm -hmm. the primary, mm -hmm. the primary's hanging lower than the secondary set, uh, that there will be a vacuum since this tubing's gonna almost become empty, mm -hmm. then it'll start pulling from the primary set. So okay, um, also I've seen nurses uh, bring back that long uh, hook that you have and make that, in ha uh, put it in half, so you can do it that way too. You can flip it up like this, and it's still a little bit longer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you either circle around. Bring it up like that if you want. Mm-hmm. So it is longer. So you could do it either way, depending on your patient's IV and the lumen of the vessel that they use. And I have the pump set since the, my height here. <laughs> right. A little easier Correct. For me to look at instead right. of being at patient level. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, Darren. That was great. Thank you.